Hey loves, welcome back to my channel. So for those of you who don't know me, my name is Katya. I hope you guys are having an amazing week. For today's video, I had mentioned in my previous video that I was gonna be taking you guys along with me thrift shopping and I was going to be doing a little haul at the end and that is exactly what I did. It was long overdue. It's been a little while since I went thrift shopping. So I am super excited to share what pieces I end up getting. But before we get into the whole thrift thing, I wanted to share a few pieces that I recently got of jewelry from a company called Italo Jewelry. I just fell in love with their pieces. The cool part about this company is is, first of all their pieces are beautiful for the quality of their pieces the price point is really good they give you a one-year warranty and a 60-day money-back guarantee so if you're not satisfied with the quality and you're not satisfied with the jewelry you can send it back and they will give you back your money that says a lot about a company and how they feel about their quality of their products and for my first piece, this is a piece I've been wanting. I have a ring for every single finger, but a pinky ring I don't have. And I have been wanting a pinky ring for the longest time. So I got this beautiful evil eye pinky ring. It is in 14 karat gold plated. And it has these beautiful diamonds and a blue little diamond in the middle. I believe it's maybe a sapphire or I'm not too sure. But I just love it. It is so perfect. So I'm going to put it on right now for the rest of the video. It is just the cutest. As much as I love my silver colored jewelry, I also love to mix silver and gold together. So I thought I would make it a little different and then get it in gold so that I can just mix it all up. I could not be happier of my ring. It's so cute. It's dainty. It's girly. And I love it and it wards off all bad energies we don't want no bad energies no bad juju guys <laughs> another thing i want to say is that the packaging is so pretty a packaging to me says a lot about a company it, i'm not saying the packaging is everything but it does say a lot of the effort and time that they put into their product so i think packaging is just as important as the jewelry itself so for my next piece i got this gorgeous bangle i love my arm cuffs my bracelets you can get it engraved with whatever you know phrase word i believe there's a certain amount of characters so i'm not too sure if it's going to be like a sentence obviously that you can't have it all printed on there but i got love yourself so i thought it was just the perfect daily reminder that when i wear it just to love yourself be kind to yourself i think that that is something that is really important to just tell yourself every day i thought i made the bangle all the more special and i love it i think it's beautiful i love how it opens and closes and it just sits beautifully on your arm moving on to my third piece i went into the necklaces another statement thing that i love mixing up necklaces layering them playing around and I got this four letter necklace. You can choose whatever word you want as long as it has four characters. So I decided to go with hope. And to me, hope definitely resonates with me. I think that without hope, life is pretty challenging. So hope keeps you going. It just motivates you. It's, I don't know, it's just a word that speaks to me. So I went with hope, but you can choose whatever word you want. I just think it's beautiful. It's simple. It's timeless. You can totally layer it up. I believe it's 14 karat gold plated. It's just so pretty. I love it. I'm going to share my last piece. And this is actually a piece that... I'm sure you guys are probably going to be like, it's not really something that you would think I would be drawn to, but that's what I love about it. I think it's different. It's more sophisticated and elegant and maybe a little bit less boho, but I wanted a piece that I can sort of have something a little bit different than what I would normally go towards. So I went with this gorgeous eternity ring and it is so beautiful you can either wear it alone again or wear it sort of how i wear it with a million different rings but i think it's so pretty it just glistens it shines it twinkles for those days that i feel like being a little bit more sophisticated or just having a little bling on you know just a little sparkle i think that it is the perfect ring for those of you who are a little bit more on the classier side i think that this is definitely a timeless piece it's a great piece to have the depth of it it just feels luxurious so this is definitely a beauty these are pretty much all the pieces that i end up getting so if you're interested they are super sweet are offering a discount code and i believe it's 20 percent off so that is amazing go check out their site i am sure you will find the perfect perfect piece if not for yourself for your loved one i will leave all their information down below and happy shopping so anyway without further ado we're going to jump right into this video enjoy
and she has something beautiful. I think it's handmade. And I think it's a pillow crown. I'm not sure, maybe a pillow cover, but I don't know. I just think it's beautiful. There is quite a bit of people today. I'm actually surprised. I think it's construction week. So when it's construction week, there's usually a lot more people shopping and out and about. I thought they'd be more out of the city and enjoying the nature, but I guess not. They're shopping. It's a little bit hard to film, so I'm going to try to film as much as I can. And then I'm going to do a mini haul for you guys. So let's keep shopping. One of my favorite sections are the dresses. I just think they're very uh, they're versatile and you can wear them over some pants, you can wear them alone with nylons, you can layer them. I think dresses are such a great universal piece and I don't know, I'm always drawn towards the dresses. Dress. I don't know, there's something just so pretty about it. I love the color. I'm not sure if it's going to be too big, but it's something that I'm liking. So we'll see. Bad. I don't like the style of the dress.
the sort of jacket poncho and I just fell in love with the color, the texture, even the little buttons here. And I think it's a great layering piece for fall. You put it like with a turtleneck or you can layer it with like a dress. And of course it has pockets, which we love. So I'm sort of liking it in this weird way. Another piece I just saw was actually this beautiful purse. And I fell in love with the detailing here at the handle. And I just think it's so pretty for the winter time, fall time, even for Christmas, like a little handbag. I don't know, there's something about it that I think is so cute, but I'm not sure. Super cute little jacket, I think with fall coming. It looks like a little Easter jacket. I love the color and it's, I believe it's $11. So let's try this on. This is how the jacket looks on. The sleeves are pretty short, but I mean, if you layer it up with another like long sleeve, I think it can look really cute. Collar is different. And it also has a tie, which I think is super cute. But I would probably leave it open. <laughs> this is with it tied. Actually, it doesn't look so bad tied. I thought it would have looked worse, but I'm not usually much of a yellow fan, but for some reason I'm drawn to this. I'm gonna start off with the pieces that I end up getting in the thrift store. And then I also got a few other pieces maybe a few weeks ago at another thrift store and a few pieces also on Facebook Marketplace that I'm gonna share in this whole mini haul. So I'm gonna start off with my first piece. This was at the thrift store. You saw a clip of it. It's this gorgeous vase and it came in two. The shopaholic in me had to get both. These were $3.75, so I could not pass up this amazing price for these bases. I got them both. I think one of them, I'm going to keep it as is, and the other one, I think I'm going to maybe do a little thrift flip on it. I'm not too sure, but these were such beautiful bases. I had to get them. I will definitely find a place for them, that's for sure. Moving on to my other piece, you saw this one as well in my clip. And it is just this simple pottery bowl. And I just, I think you obviously put plants in it, but I think that it was just the way it was worn out. It gave it so much character. I thought it was the perfect little bowl to put either on a coffee table. I love bowls just as much as baskets. I think bowls are a great decorative piece. You can either store things in, you can put it on a counter, put some fruits. I mean, it's endless when it comes to bowls and baskets. Those are like my go-tos. And okay, vases as well. <laughs> but you know what I mean. I just love a good bowl. I paid this $3, which is so good. So moving on to my next piece, and you also saw this, uh, I think I tried it on in the clip. It is this amazing sort of jacket poncho. Look at the color and the wool. It's just so pretty. I love the buttons here. And I think it's the perfect layering piece for the fall time. I think it's going to look so cute if I go maybe apple picking and I just want to layer things up. You don't want something so bulky and heavy, but you do want something to keep a little bit snugly and warm. I just fell in love with the color of it. It's boho. It definitely had my name written on it. I had to get it. It was $7.75, which is great for a jacket. I had tried on several different jackets, but for some reason I was drawn to this one the most. I had tried on another yellow, sort of yellow canary, very light yellow. It looked like a little bit like a chicken. I was debating whether or not to get that one, but finally I didn't end up getting it. I didn't need it. Honestly, I have a million jackets. It wasn't anything different and original that I'm like, you know what, I'm going to go with the one that is more unique. 
So I went with that one instead of the yellow one. So now we're gonna move on to the other pieces that I got in another thrift store. And the first piece is this beautiful candle holder. Look at the carving, how gorgeous this is. I paid it $6.99. I think this is the perfect piece to put on a mantle over the fireplace or on a council table. The price point is amazing for the quality of it. It is super heavy. This is why I go thrift shopping for pieces like this, unique pieces, one of a kind pieces you can find in just, you know, Marshalls and Winners. These are pieces that are handmade and just beautiful. Now the next piece is a little too big for me to hold. So I got this amazing terracotta pot and I think it is so pretty. It definitely has years in it. It's been beat up, but that's what I think makes it so unique and just one of a kind. I paid this $10. The color is beautiful. The fact that it's been chipped away and it's been, you know, I don't know, rained on dirt. It just makes it all the more special to me. So I could not be happier of that purchase. Moving on to my Facebook marketplace pieces. For the first piece, it is a council table. When I end up going and get this piece, I was blown away by the quality of it, the craftsmanship of it. It was just so beautiful. I ended up paying the council table $100. I believe it's uh, Indonesian. It is just spectacular. I think it's one of my favorite pieces so far. I couldn't believe this person was getting rid of it. How do you even get rid of a piece like this? But anyway, it is gorgeous. I put it in my DIY room. I'm using it sort of as a staging furniture where I do my filmings when I finish my DIY projects and I just film the clips. I think it's the perfect place to put things on. And then my last pieces that I ended up getting were these storage boxes that I needed for my DIY room to store some of my craft materials in them and just get a little bit more organized. And these are boxes that I had been wanting for a very long time. They're actually from Ikea. They were discontinued. I had seen them, I believe it was maybe Pinterest, and I thought that they were just so amazing. I wanted them. So I kept searching for them and eventually there was someone that was selling them. I believe that they were made out of banana leaves. They were just me boxes and I had to get them. So the lady I believe was selling them for, um, I got four of them for $25. They were in mint condition. The only thing that I had to fix were the ropes hanging from the outside of the box. But aside that, the conditions were perfect. I cannot wait to share with you how I end up using them in my DIY room. So this is pretty much everything. These are all the pieces I end up getting. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for all your love, your support, your thumbs up. It means the world to me. Have an amazing day. See you next time. Mwah.